What up, Hills fam? So glad that you guys have joined us today for another week of Hills Kids Online. So excited. We're starting a new series today uh, called Secrets of the Cross. So we're, we're traveling around with a group called The Tracers, and we're going to hear about some secrets of the cross that we maybe haven't heard of before, or, or some things that we can think about a little bit differently about the cross as well. So I'm really, really excited that we're, that we're kicking that off today. Um, I hope that you're able to join us each week for our drive-up service as well. We've got another one coming up this evening. Uh, the fun always starts at 5.30 and it's just we got food trucks and games and all that sort of stuff so please please join us with your families if you can. It's such a blast and you don't want to miss it. Um, exciting news, next week we are kicking off Hills Kids in person again. So really, really excited that we get to gather together outside. Um, we're gonna have a special section for, for Hills Kids um, where we can gather together and we can have our own little um, Hills Kids gathering uh, during Big Church. So um, please make a plan to be there next week. Uh, we'd love to, love to see each and every one of you. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to answer those as well. So let's dive in today. We got some worship and we're going to kick off our brand new uh, video series called Secrets of the Cross. I'll see you back here in just a few minutes. Called Savior, have you heard of his perfect love? Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your stand up and get ready for the memory verse. First time, I'll say it. The second time, I'll say it and you say it after me. And the third time, we'll all say it together. Are you ready? This time, you're watching me. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But for us who are being saved, it's the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. This time, I'll say it and then you repeat after me. 
For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But for us who are being saved, it's the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. Now, let's all say it together. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But for us who are being saved, it's the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1, 18. Great job, kids. Hey, you keep practicing that memory verse, and I'll see you next time. This is a story, a story of a book, a book that was written a long, long time ago. This book is a story of adventure, action, love, joy, pain, and hope. In this book, there's a story of a cross. This cross is a mystery to some, hope to others, and known by all. This cross has secrets that are found in statements. Join me as we discover the secrets of the cross. There's a neighborhood where a group of kids known as the Tracers regularly solve the locals' biggest mysteries. Mrs. Sally's trash can has been stolen. That's right, I said stolen. Well today, things were about to change for the Tracers. What they found that day would not only lead them on an adventure of a lifetime, it would change their lives forever. What was it that they found? I'll show you. All right, what do we know? We found this. Ooh, what is it? It's a map. Cool. Where did you find that? Yeah, where did you find that? In a tree. A, a tree? tree? Sitting inside a tree. Yep. <gasps> Maybe a treasure tree. We, we brought, brought cookies. cookies. No, thank you. Yes, thank you. What's the map of? I found it, I don't know. Guys, I know what it is. Who? What? When? Huh? Huh? Brownies? Mmm, thank you. I know what this is a map of. Oh. What is it a map of? This is our neighborhood. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this neighborhood? Uh, uh, yes, it is. Question, if that's our neighborhood, where's our school? Well, it's not there. My point exactly. Yet. Um, I'm a little confused. This is a map of our neighborhood before it was a neighborhood. Whoa. That just blew my mind. Oh, yeah, I still don't get it. Here, look at this. Now picture it with all of the houses gone. She went on to explain how the map worked where everything would be if they lived in that neighborhood today, where the grocery stores would be, houses would be, schools would be, and then it hit them. Whoa, this is big. Do you think it's treasure? Yeah, do you think it's treasure? Whatever it is, let's find it. And so the tracers set out with a map, a few essentials, and some cookies to find what could be the most important discovery of their life. Are we close? It's hard to tell. 
The question is, are there any bears out here? It's cool. I've got bear repellent. Look! This is it! it. Oh, nice. I didn't believe it! I'm oh, so excited! So yeah. Okay! We found it! This is awesome! All right, are we gonna open it? Yeah! yeah. Come on, come on. All right, here we go. <gasps> go! Oh my what? Gosh. Whoa! What does it say? Is it in another language? Should we get some cupcakes? Or scones? Be forgiving. I will, but but what does it say? No, that's what it says. Oh. Be forgiving. Oh. I wonder why that's written on there. Hey, isn't that what Jesus said on the cross? What the tracers found was a secret of the cross. The statement, be forgiving, comes from the Bible story of when Jesus was hanging on the cross paying the price for our sins. He loves us all so much that he didn't want us to pay the price for our own sins. He wanted to pay the price for our sins. And while he was on the cross paying the price for our sins, people were walking by making fun of him. He took the time to forgive those people because he wanted us to know how important it was to forgive. And if Jesus can do that, we can do that. Let's look at a story and see what happens when we choose not to forgive someone, and then what happens when we choose to forgive someone. Now sometimes it's hard to forgive someone. Maybe someone has done something really bad to you or something really wrong to you. You see, Jesus was completely innocent when he chose to forgive those people who were doing wrong things to him. Just because you forgive them doesn't make what they did right. It doesn't make it okay, but it makes your heart okay. And that's the most important thing. The Bible says above all else to guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. You can guard it by forgiving people who have done wrong things to you. And that's why the first secret of the cross is be forgiving. Join us next time as we discover more secrets of the cross. Let's take this gold back to headquarters. Guys! There's another treasure map on the back. Man, I just loved that video. It was so awesome. Um, such a great message. I mean, Jesus was, was so incredible. Just even as he's, he's dying, being crucified on a cross, he takes a moment to, to teach us all about forgiveness. And there's so many examples of, of forgiveness throughout the Bible. Um, I want to challenge you and your family this week to go find some of those examples and study them together. Um, it's really, really awesome to, to find real things that, that we can apply to our life right now in the Bible and in, in, the, in the Word of God that was written so long ago. So, so take some time this week, explore biblical forgiveness with your family. Um, I love y'all so, so much. And hey, don't forget, next week we're kicking off Hills Kids in person. We're gathering together um, during big church. So I hope to see you all there as well. I pray that, that God would just bless you and your family this week. And I will see y'all again real soon. Bye-bye.